Hi smileys, join me in the kitchen. Today we're going to make Tuscan chicken in our crock pots. Check your description box below for all your ingredients and I will see you in the kitchen. You will need three boneless skinless chicken breasts or more. I have put it in the crock pot. I've started seasoning it with low sodium seasoning salt. And I'm going to add also some black pepper. And I'm just going to start it off with this seasoning. As it cooks, I'm going to start adding a little bit more. Um, I have it in the crock pot. And now I'm going to add just a little bit of low sodium organic chicken broth. And as you can see, I did not add that much just really to cover the bottom. The chicken is going to produce its own water, so um, you don't really need to put too much liquid. All right, now I'm going to put this in the crock pot heater on high. Okay, so I'm turning it on to high, and I'm going to cover it. This is probably going to cook for about four hours, um, but since I am home, I'm going to add seasonings a little bit later, extra seasonings, Italian seasonings. I'm going to add some canned tomatoes, but I'm going to drain the juice, and I'm going to add some heavy cream. Okay, it's been two hours in, <clears throat> so now I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes drained. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning, which includes basil, rosemary, oregano, marjoram, and thyme. And then I'm also going to include about a half a cup of heavy cream. I was very generous with the Italian seasoning. And now you want to mix all that together. And now that it's stirred, I'm going to add three chopped garlic cloves to this as well. And then I'm going to cover and let it remain cooking for the next two hours. I've added the garlic there on top and I'm about to mix it in. All right. <clears throat> Let's cover her and let her continue to cook. It's done. And I've started to break up the pieces. And you don't have to, but I did. Um, <clears throat> also, you can see this sauce is not going to get thick because we're cooking it in the crock pot. So I'm going to serve this over some pasta. Now, since it's done, I want to add a couple of things that will cook instantly. Um, you can chop up some green onion, one stalk, and you can chop up maybe two handfuls of spinach. I don't feel like chopping. I'm going to just stand over the crock pot with some kitchen shears. And once it's all in, I'll come right back. <clears throat> okay, so I've added the green onion. I'm still adding spinach. I just wanted to come back. I know some of you are thinking, well, Danny, isn't it quicker to chop than to stand over and cut with some shears? Yes, it is quicker. However, it's one less dish that I have to wash. So just... Weigh your priorities. You can chop. You can cut. It's all up to you. You can pinch. You don't even have to chop up the spinach. You can just drop it in there. So um, I'll be right back with the rest of my spinach. <clears throat> and I'll um, show you that pasta as well. Okay, so I've dropped my green onion and I've dropped my spinach. I'm going to go ahead and turn the crock pot off because the heat from the sauce is going to cook it. Um, <clears throat> so you can turn it off, you can leave it in, the, you know, my bowl that comes out, so you can leave it in the crock pot, which is going to continue to cook it, just like if you left it in the oven, or you can go ahead and pull your bowl out if you have that as an option. 
Okay, I'm going to use some bow tie pasta. You can use fettuccine, you can use angel hair, you can use pinye, but I'm going to use bow tie. You want to bring your water to a rapid boil and go ahead and drop your pasta. I like my pasta al dente, so it'll only be in here for a few minutes, but you cook it to your like. 